What is happening, everybody? Let me get this on a little bit here, make the shot a little better. Uh, today, I'm not hawking anything. I'm actually out here with Ralph from the insurance company. He came down from, uh, let's see if we can get him. There he is. Uh, he came down from uh, Pennsylvania and uh, is here because we had a storm come through a couple weeks ago and he's taking a look at the roof to see if there's anything there for a claim and uh you can see over here we've got a, a tree that fell am i pointing at it right so and it split right down the trunk so we're doing uh, a little bit of investigation work today otherwise things have been pretty good uh dave is holding up in his hospice and mom is over around on the porch let me show you what i've been up to in the uh, trailer. I have not wanted to tackle that basement because of the mold, but I need to attack it because of the mold. And so we've sort of taken steps in that direction. Still have a long way to go. Uh, let's go say hi to mom. But I'm trying to uh, take it easy on my back on this. It turns out I had some x-rays and they found that I had scoliosis and arthritis and some other degenerative thing going on there. Uh, and so I was given physical therapy for a couple of months and that's still a, a situation in progress, but here's Ralph's vehicle and here's mom. How you doing? Doing all right. So that's about all the excitement going on here, but there is a little bit more over here. If you look at that brick, uh, mailbox. Right about there on the lane going north, that motorcycle, there was uh, an electric car caught on fire and I ran out with my camera and, and got a lot of that. They could not put it out. When I went over and started talking to the uh, fireman, the guy told me that they had about 40 gallons sitting in that car, just standing water in that car and uh, they couldn't get the fire out. So this is a chemical fire and it's not gonna, uh, really respond much to water itself but they hung in there and finally got it out there was a lady driving it she got away safe and uh i'll put some of that footage in here as well meanwhile i hope you guys are doing well and uh see you on the next one take care <laughs> They're just waiting for it to, to run out of fuel, it looks like. So close over the last few years. It's hard to say what that is. If you know, uh, say so. Man, it's just getting bigger. I hate to see that thing explode. I think that you have seen enough and ought to go back inside and I'm gonna finish with the trash because if that thing explodes, we're right in the line of fire. You hear me? Yeah. All right. Oh That's what I'm saying. All right.